Virtual box inside 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 virtual box Okay, so I don't know what I'm doing with uh, my life today. I'm gonna put virtual machines inside virtual machines inside virtual machines inside virtual machines inside virtual machines I think I've said that like two times now. Um, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with uh, Windows. Let's let's do Windows 8 because I'm already running Windows 10 and it's a skinned version of Windows uh, 10. It's but um. Anyways, I don't know why I said that. Let's go ahead and do Windows 8 if I can find it. 8.1. Oh, let's do this. And that was okay. Wait, hold on. Windows 8. Point not 89. Oh, I wish 89. 8.1. We'll make it a third 64 bit. 64 bit. Windows 2012. Oh, I really want to check out what that is. Windows 8.1, 64 bit. Let's put about, you know, 5 megabytes of RAM. And uh, after that, we'll put another virtual machine in there. Oh, gosh. That's cool. Alright, Windows 8.1. Start. And I'll have to find the product keys. And of course, this is gonna take a while, so uh, let's go ahead and speed this up by putting some. Ra okay, wait, never mind. Need the product key. I'll be right back. And of course, the product key works. Or worked. Works. I don't think we should upgrade because I think that'll cause problems. Yep, that's cool. And uh, I'm gonna go eat pizza, and I'll be uh, I'll be right back once this is done. Pizza. Go ahead and uh, call this Windows, uh, Windows in, in window, Windows. Alright, let's click next. Uh, uh, what should I do? Express settings. Okay, this is like probably the most annoying part of the setup, honestly. This will, this step takes so long and it is so annoying that, okay, don't have an account. Create a new one. This is that's probably what I should do. Sign in without a Microsoft account. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, Windows eight. But uh, let's go ahead and just um, install Guest Editions. Guest Editions. And I heard the sound. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and install Guest Editions. Run, and then install VirtualBox again. That's gonna be really really bad. Um, but yeah, we'll wait for this, reboot it, and then we'll have full screen. Alright guys, so since, since I finally have myself organized, let's actually start this video properly. Or, uh, you know, continue this video properly. So, right now, it's restarting. Um, it's gonna go ahead, and we're gonna go ahead and boot into Windows 8.1, except in full screen mode. This is gonna be disaster, um... This is going to be a disaster because I'm going to install VirtualBox inside this and then install Windows 7 on that. So, yeah, <laughs> this is not going to be good. Why is it frozen? I thought I inst- Oh, okay, never mind. It's good. Install. Wow. All right, we'll just keep this over here. Uh, just minimize that. There should- Yep, there's Oracle VirtualBox right there. And start Oracle Box or VirtualBox. Oh my god, what in the world? Is he happening here? The left party is your host. Okay, I see. So, oh gosh, this is not gonna turn out well. Now I have to make Windows 7. Windows 7. And we'll make this. Why is it all 32 bit? Okay, so after about 15 minutes of waiting for the Windows 7 professional disk to load, I finally have it in my uh, desktop. Uh, it's already open. Okay, so let's go ahead and settings go to settings storage uh, I thought I X this out Go to host or uh, not host drive choose a virtual ma machine or virtual file go to Windows 7 86 times 86 and this should load properly this time because this is a times 86 virtual machine, right? Yes Yes! Yeah! There we go. So, so far, we have Windows 8 inside- No, Windows 8 inside of Windows 10. Windows 7 inside of Windows 8 inside of Windows 10. We're getting somewhere, I hope.
I accept next custom new advanced uh, disk next partition and uh, yeah we'll wait for this to load oh my gosh finally I didn't even notice it was a so boring setup will continue after restarting your computer oh great great oh man okay finally it's starting windows for like the third time now um y yeah I don't know what it's called I think it's called seption when you put something inside something almost there come on uh what's my name uh windows 7 okay let's find a product key Click on the oh, okay never mind all right we don't care about updates we just want to destroy this thing at the end if it's possible um yeah that's good i don't really care about the time um the, the home network because I, I, actually, I'm at work, but I decide to pick home network for no reason. I mean, wait, I'm not, I'm at, I'm at home, but I decide to pick no Windows is finalizing your settings. Oh, yay! Finalizing! Finally! At this screen, oh my gosh, the mouse, it's, uh, it's lagging. I don't even care if I, if we have, like, Windows error on this. I just want to put another virtual machine inside this. That, that's probably not a good idea, actually. Is it almost done? Oh my gosh, finally. All right. Okay, so we finally at the Windows 7 desktop screen. <laughs> Our browser is out of date. I wonder how long it will take for the ISO to download. 2,000 years later. So welcome back to... Ah! Welcome back to day two. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start installing Windows Vista. Um, now, here's the thing. Uh, I was attempting to do all... Uh, I was trying to find a Windows Vista ISO. And it's... it's I, it took me a long time because I couldn't find an actual, you know, I couldn't find an actual one. Okay, Windows is loading files. Please load. I just, I just, I just wanna, I just wanna use Windows Vista. Cancel. Yeah, so I think that'll be it for this video. I mean, um, uh, Windows Vista, Windows XP, nothing is booting after Windows 7. I think it's because how many virtual machines we have inside virtual machines and it just takes such a long time to boot. So that's going to go ahead and that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button down below. And um, yeah, I'll end it off uh, by deleting system 32 like usual. Oh great, yeah. I wasn't recording that part. Uh, I'm, s I'm, s I'm really sorry guys, I didn't uh, record that part. But basically, I ran the memes virus and uh, this happened. Um, I destroyed Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows XP, oh yeah, all of them, and Windows Vista, kind of. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button down below. I don't even understand what I did in this video. 